To quote the great American philosopher Snoop Dogg, New York, New York, big city of dreams. Everything in New York ain't always what it seems. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Laurent, and I'm back with another video. You see the thumbnail, you see what this video is about, but before we get into this video, I want to say what's up to my subscribers. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you are new, please consider hitting subscribe and turn on notifications because on this channel, we do thought-provoking videos such as this one right here. We do reaction videos, and once a month, I do a review on a Black-owned product. So if you're into that kind of content, hit subscribe and turn on notifications. All right, let's get into it. Bill de Blasio came out with keys to the city it basically a v-card mandate that requires anybody that's going to any indoor activities restaurants bars entertainment whatever inside the five boroughs of new york city and if you have, don't have the v-card you can't get in so this started september 20 no, started september 13th today is september 24th so now we're two weeks into it and i want to show you what's been going on people reactions to it the first video i want to show you guys is a restaurant owner speaking about his business going down because of this mandate so he's a small business owner he just sharing his thoughts of what's going on how his employees are taking it and how he's taking it so let me play this clip then after that i'll give you my comments on this clip a part of new york city's pandemic routine proof of vaccination before being seated for indoor dining these workers are not security guards they're not prepared they're not prepared to have someone come in beat them up or harassment or verbally harass them. But restaurant owners in Cypress Hill in Brooklyn say it's costing them money and even their employees. They know they'd have to do it, but then they take it against our staff. This was El Rey Bar and Restaurant this Sunday. Right now you walk into the restaurant, it's empty in here. Community advocate Tony Herbert, who's also part of the New York Multicultural Restaurant and Nightlife Chamber of Commerce, is calling on the mayor to do away with the proof of vaccination, especially when it comes to small family-owned eateries saying it's causing unnecessary tensions. We had a situation here where one of the, the hostesses and the waitress got into an argument with the patron because the patron felt some kind of way about being asked for their vaccination proof. We're now making our restaurants and their, their workers police officers inside their establishments. This comes after police say a hostess at the popular Italian restaurant Carmen's on Manhattan's Upper West Side was recently attacked by three tourists after asking for proof of vaccination. Some of it was caught on cell phone video. The altercation comes as Mayor Bill de Blasio continues to push for New Yorkers to get vaccinated. According to city health data, as of Friday, 80% of adults in New York City and almost 70% of kids ages 12 to 17 had gotten at least one vaccine dose. So killing our businesses. Now, as restaurant owners try to figure out how to adhere to the vaccine mandate at restaurants, the burden is falling on restaurant employees, especially the front of house staff members who are first to come in contact with customers. Some who are now working in fear. All right, so there you have it. You see that now these businesses are losing money. The employees feel like they're working in fear. This is a lose-lose situation for these smaller businesses. People are not coming in. You see that the restaurant is basically not even filled. It's like maybe two or three tables of people sitting down. During the pandemic, they had to close down. Everything started opening back up. They can't open to full capacity. So now we have businesses have to refuse people. So it's like they can't get out this hole. You know what I'm saying? They can't get out this hole. A lot of people shut down close their businesses and people who still afloat are now dealing with this it's not a good it's not it's not a good look it's not a good look a lot of people are losing money losing losing their livelihood you know i'm not gonna get into the v but or i'm not gonna get into the c either but this is just crazy that this is now being impl implemented and this is what's happening let's go into another part of the city let's go back when the situation at car mines which you may or may not know reportedly a woman was refused entry into Carmine's because she didn't have a v-card and a fight broke out but now other twists and turns of the story is coming out so i'm gonna tell you about the first twist and turn the woman said the hostess called her the n-word and that's why she attacked her so once that happened black lives matter of new york and said you know what we're going to protest and we're going to have a, a rally in front of Carmine's. so i'm going to show you the rally and the protest that happened at Carmine's. then after that I give my thoughts on that oh i'm sorry and this come by the uh, way of freedomnews.tv.
be very clear to every black person up in here. Last week, there was a racist hostess standing right here, y'all. She was nasty to black people. They asked for a vaccine passport. She showed it to them. And, she, and, and she, when they showed it to them, she said it was a fake. Once these black people were let in, she walked by their table and gave them more, more shit. Then when they came back outside, she was still talking greasy and the employees had to hold her back. Had to, y'all don't understand what I'm saying. These black women were supposed to be the aggressors. They were supposed to be. What happened? What happened? This white man said he was a white American. See, I I didn't want to laugh at that situation, but that that white dude knew what he was doing. He knew he was gonna um amp him up. All he said is, "I'm a white American," and that's all he said. And to be honest, that's a correct description of him. He is a white American. So why are they getting mad that he said he's a white American? All right, let's continue. employee antagonizing these women she was restrained and brought into the restaurant and at that time a black manager came out and apologized for that employee's behavior invited the entire party back into the restaurant the entire party was allowed into the to the restaurant which nullifies the whole they didn't present a vaccination card theory it doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. If they didn't present vax cards, if that was still the, the, the issue and the reason for the fight and the reason why they went to jail, then why were they all being allowed back into the restaurant? As they were walking into the restaurant, the hostess once again walked by them and dropped the end bomb. The three women did a bottle, uh, 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 after she dropped the end bomb, the three women did a double take and followed her out the restaurant, and that's the melee you saw. They showed me through the gun and age. You put money on their head. You put money on their head. See, that's a bad look right there, too. Like, come on. That's a bad look. I don't know what this guard and age said to him. You know what I'm saying? He looked, he looked like somebody's manager or somebody's like <laughs> somebody disappointed father. <laughs> but yeah, you can't say you put money on somebody's head. That's basically a threat. You know what I mean? all right so there you have it oops my bad all right so there you have it that's um that's what's going on in the city right they had a protest they had a like a press conference because they said that the hostess dropped the n-word to the ladies who didn't have their v cards we have the guardian angels getting threatened by the blm blm is taking up for this lady who said that they dropped the n-word on her blm protesters sitting in the middle of the box so four-way tra like, traffic going four ways is now stopped because they sit in the street and nobody want to run over nobody the city is basically being turned upside down because of this the woman who had the accusations of being called the n-word in my opinion i think she's lying right i think she's lying because i think it blew up over twitter she had to save face she was like you know what let me just say something and i think blm took it ran with it and to me this protest was a waste of time if my opinion if you want to protest somebody you should be protesting the mayor right who put this in play because carmine is just part of what they have to do you know what i'm saying if they don't card people they could be fine and nobody want to get a fine because like i said businesses are hurting businesses didn't really have a good year last year they have to try to get back out the hole so they have to do what they have to do so fast forward i'm gonna show you the lawyer of carmine's speaking about what happened because now she released video footage of what happened from a security camera and the security camera footage 
make the black woman look like the aggressor. So let me just get into that video. This was mutual com combat. However, there is a Karen type element at play. You have a woman who is being nasty to these black people, who is being very much disrespectful to these black people. And when the police arrived, she said they attacked me because they couldn't show proof of vaccination. See, that was a bad look already. Like they have them. I was in a Hawk Newsom speaking about this is a Karen like now. So it's like they already moving the narrative once this video came out. But last night, Carmine's released a statement and new surveillance video. They say the woman did show proof of vaccination, but the three men who wanted to join them did not have it. So they were offered seats outside. They say none of the hostesses, all of whom are women of color, used a racial slur. They also claim no one heard a slur. All right, let me run that back again. So you see the woman come out the restaurant, you know, saying Carmine's said that it was people that wasn't they didn't have a vac a v card and once they had the, they didn't have the v card they came outside then once they came outside the woman that was fighting rolled up onto the hostess to like the back of her neck and said something and once the hostess turned around that's when she got attacked i don't know what the hostess said and i don't know what the, the woman said but as you can see the woman who came out the restaurant was clearly the aggressor so let me run it back again But last night, Carmine's released a statement and new surveillance video. They say the woman did show proof of vaccination, but the three men who wanted to join them did not have it. So they were offered seats outside. They say none of the hostesses, all of whom are women of color, used a racial slur. They also claim no one heard a slur. All right, but now at that rally, protesters were shouting, cancel Carmine's, and at times speakers with a megaphone, they were yelling into that restaurant. Other speakers say the vaccine mandate is giving police the opportunity to target black people. No arrest. Have See, now that's another part. They're saying that the V card mandate is giving the city now opportunity to attack black folks. I want to get into that later on as well were made during that protest. Joining us this morning is the attorney for Carmine's restaurant, Carolyn Richmond. Nice to have you on Good Day New York. Thank you, Rosanna. Good morning, Bianca. So let's talk about this new surveillance video that is out there. Walk us through this. Where did this video come from? Sure. Uh, for better or worse, much of the city has surveillance uh, cameras around town. And this was simply the security uh, camera pointing out towards the entrance and it runs virtually 24 seven. So what do you see, Carolyn? Do you see the the hostesses saying anything to the, this group of people? Sure, we, we can't really hear, but this happened so fast and the host was literally facing Broadway and very calm and they ran up from behind her. You could see that the women said something to her, but they started swinging and ambushing her and the other host very quickly. I believe they hit one of the managers as well. And it was just a vicious attack. Um, I don't see a swing coming from any of the employees. They were really trying to fend off three women that were just enraged. Yeah, you can clearly see that by the video. However, the other party is claiming, you know, that hostess said a racial slur to them. You can't have audio on this video. Uh, so how do you kind of go about proving the innocence to this? And are you afraid that this may happen at uh, other restaurants? I want to um, speak on a personal aspect on that. So if the hostess did drop the N-word, you know you have to play chess not checkers so if she did drop that n-word you attacking her put you in the wrong if that's the situation what you need to do is find a way to get that person in trouble you know what i'm saying like i had a situation like that i had uh at my old job my supervisor called me a racial slur i could have sit there and fought this dude and whatever that's why he what he wanted but i said nah why would i do that for that's not gonna work that don't work in today's America or that don't work at all. So I just called the manager like, yo, listen, that's what he called me. I have a witness. The witness said it was true and the dude got fired. 
So like, why why would you play that game? You have to play chess, not checkers. Clearly, this lady, if that's the case, she was playing checkers. We think this is an isolated incident. There's certainly been occasional disgruntled guests around town about having to show back vaccinations. But uh, by and large, this is a neighborhood Upper West Side restaurant. Um, it's got a diverse community. All right. So there you have it. So now that's the second part, right? Now, the lady came out. The story seemed not to be true of what she's saying, in my opinion, because as you can see, she rolled up on the lady and her head to the back of, you know her face to the back of the lady's head and if she says something the lady turned around and she attacked her so clearly blm got behind something that they shouldn't have got behind in my opinion because it don't look like the host's fault like it was the lady's fault and they said they did give them an alternative for them to sit outside because other people didn't have the v card so they did have an alternative but she went in her way so unfortunately that's what happened that sucks it's messed up but now let's get back to what's going on with blm BLM organizer says uh, the mayor's vaccine mandate weaponized against the black community. You know, this is this what I said. This is what they should have been attacking. They should have been attacking the mayor, not Carmine's. Carmine's is just a pawn in this whole big game. They just have to do what they told because at the end of the day, they don't want to get fined. This is what uh, one of the Black Lives Matter said. It says 72% of black people in the city from ages 18 to 44 are unvaccinated. So 72%. So what's going to stop the Giuseppe, I mean, NYPD for rounding up black people and snatching them off the train, off the bus. That's a good point. Now they moved the goalposts to the city. That's where it should have been. It should have been there from the beginning. This first protest was a waste of resources, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? That was a waste of resources, but I guess they had to start somewhere. Now they at where they need to be at, which is a good look to me. And also, Newsom warned that her group could respond with an uprising similar to the ones that followed the death of George Floyd in the summer of 2020. No city wants that, especially New York City. No city wants that in that city. Can't really stop it. It happened in New York City. New York City was, it was going crazy. You know what I'm saying? People was getting run over by cop cars and whatnot. Nobody wants that. Police officers already felt like, yo, I'm ready to quit. You know what I mean? Like they said, a lot of police officers are retiring early. Nobody wants to deal with the situation. Nobody wants to deal with this. This is going to be a bad look. I don't know why the mayor thought this was going to be a good look to have this in the city. This ain't working out too well. You know what I'm saying? If you, you know, you've seen this, you're in New York. What's your thoughts about this? Are you just going to go to Long Island and eat and chill? You want to get um, get the V and just go show your V card and go to these places? Or you want to say, you know what? Let's put a stop to this. These mandates is not going to work out because it's hurting businesses. It's hurting the community. It's causing a division between people. Or you just don't care. You know what I'm saying? My opinion, I think this is really causing division between people. I think this is a bad idea. My heart goes out to the people in New York. I see what y'all going through. I see what the businesses are going through. I see what everybody's going through. It's just a lot to take in. But that's just my thoughts on it, man. I appreciate your time. Thank you for your time. Leave something in the comments. Until next time, peace.